Today on Live at 4, for the first time since 2003, high blood pressure has officially been has officially been redefined. Today, the American Heart Association released new blood pressure guidelines. Lauren Winfrey spoke with a doctor to find out what that all means for you and your health. Yeah, Charles and Shannon, with the new guidelines, more people will fit into the category of having high blood pressure, but that doesn't necessarily mean they'll be treated for it. Instead, doctors will focus on pointing out risk factors and helping their patients live healthier lives at an earlier age. For the first time in 14 years, high blood pressure is being redefined. More people are going to be diagnosed with hypertension than before. 130 over 80 is the new high, a change from the old definition of 140 over 90. The new measurement is something cardiologist Lisa Schmitz considers a good thing. It's really to promote awareness so you can live healthier um, and reduce your risk of cardiovascular disease. Under the revised guidelines, nearly half the U.S. adult population will classify as having high blood pressure. Dr. Schmidt says that doesn't necessarily mean more people will have to be treated, but physicians will point out risk factors and promote healthier lifestyles for adults at a younger age. The kind of clinical practice Johnny Wilson says he wishes were in place before he was diagnosed with hypertension five years ago. If you get diagnosed early enough, then that probably will help save a lot of people's lives because I didn't even know I had high blood pressure. If I hadn't had that spell and had to call the paramedics, I would have never known it. The changed guidelines will also eliminate the category of prehypertension. People who were once diagnosed with prehypertension will now be categorized as having either elevated or stage one hypertension. If you is diagnosed with high blood pressure, make sure that you always take your medication. And if you own a lot of greasy foods and like fatty foods, then stay away from that because that was a problem for me. And the impact of the new guidelines is expected to be greatest among young people, tripling the number of men under age 45 with the diagnosis and doubling the number of women under that same age. It's an important number to know, so it thank is. you.